Hello everyone, it's Scott, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2, Titan Mode. So I just finished killing a, uh, <laughs> a lot of things in order to get four Blizz Rods. So I'm going to throw these into the Runic Altar here, as well as with four Imperio. There we go. And I should have one last seed over here. Bink, bink. And... Bam. <laughs> Let's try to actually hit it this time. So that's going to create the uh, the Blizz Seed, which is going to basically give me infinite Blizz Rods. So uh, Blizz Seeds da, 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 will make Blizz Essence, which will make two Blizz Rods for every eight that I create. So um, Apologies for the lengthy video uh, last time. It's uh, the culmination of a lot of, uh, of recording and, and bad editing, and I, I just couldn't figure out how to whittle it down because we just kept doing more and more things without taking a break. So the plastic uh, refinery is complete. So over here, we're using lava pressurizing. Um, uh, over here, see if I can find it. Um, Yes, so what's happening is we're using uh, petrothium to go through the magnetic craft refinery, which is producing oil. And that oil, as well as these byproducts here of natural gas, sewage, um, and oil, are being pumped into this uh, pneumatic craft refinery, which is being powered by, the, by heat produced from the vortex tube. So uh, we have a hot end and the cold end. Uh, the coal end is being sunk into a heat sink. The hot end goes into the refinery, which is producing, uh, from this oil, it's producing all sorts of things. So uh, that's giving us the LPG, which is the precursor to uh, the plastic, which is then again being pumped into uh, this thermal pneumatic processing plant. So um, Stuff goes in. Uh, the various uh, components can be processed up into LPG. LPG is then piped down into uh, uh, into this guy, the uh, processing plant where it becomes plastic when combined with coal, as long as we keep this pressurized. And that plastic then is fed into the plastic mixer, so we can just choose whatever color we want. And then that's how we're getting the cyan to get the... Uh, uh, to get capacitors, and we have a whole bunch of, yes, yeah, so now that we have this, we're making a whole bunch of compressed iron, so we'll never need to do the explosions again. Uh, we have a nice feedback loop over here, um, and these guys, I think, ah, yes, yeah, so the secret here to make this liquid compressor work is that uh, the liquid compressor is um, basically pressurizing and it needs heat sinks to extract uh, to extract the excess heat. But inside this column of heat sinks is actually more compressed iron. So compressed iron is acting like the radiator that takes heat out of the liquid compressor and sends it to the uh, to the heat sinks, and that allows a much greater efficiency within the um, uh, within this device than than you would normally. Uh, Let's see. So it's currently turned off because we have more plastic than we knew what to do with. And so uh, with that, we are ready to move on to uh, uh, the next step. So at the end of last episode, we had just created this. The uh, uh, We have beaten the boss to get the mining. Uh, do, do, do. Let's uh, bring it up. So we had beaten Theta, gone into the Antlion Overlord, which gives us a mining multi-tool. And then that allows us to create the, the uh, mining dimension, which so far is the only dimension that we're allowed to mine on this server. All right, here we are in the mining dimension. So it is a super flat world. And it's, it's populated with some mobs, so I'm sure if I go around I can find some pigs, which are the one animal that I have not been able to find at all yet. Um, and so I can do a little bit of digging 
And so what I did was I vein minored here. And what I'm going to do is just keep vein minoring down until I can expose some certus quartz. All right, here is my first certus quartz ore. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to hit it with this manulin pickaxe that I've turned into a silky pickaxe by uh, upgrading it with the uh, Tinker's Construct uh, silky ups upgrade. So let's just hit this with the vein miner. Whoops. And not let it fall off the edge. Grab it. And two Certus Quartz R. So I need to find two more. Unfortunately, my pick is uh, is uh, running out of durability. So um, plus I'm running out of RF power. So I'm going to head back to the overworld, recharge, and then uh, come back and grab the last two pieces of Certus Quartz Ore. All right, here's the, the last pieces. So let's grab that. And with that, I should be done. Six Cirrus Quartz Ore is more than enough. And uh, so I'm not sure what else I need from the mining dimension at this point, other than maybe, um, like I said, if I could find a pig. Um, but uh, I don't know. We, we have pretty much every resource we'd ever want. So at this point... Um, Yep, I'm just going to fly around for a bit, do a little bit of exploring, and then head back to the overworld and get ready to craft some seeds. All right, there we go. There's our Certus Quartz Seed, Blizz Seeds, and Yellowite Seeds. So uh, it was pretty easy to make. Um, the uh, Certus Seeds, of course, just being Crucio and the Certus Quartz Ore with the basic Manicchio Seed. Uh, the uh, Yellowite. Uh, was also pretty easy uh, Zavisio at this point. And I should point out that we have uh, over a million of the uh, Zavisio Minikio essence uh, ready to go. So I'm not sure what we need it all for, but uh, I'm told that uh, this is still not enough. So uh, we must we must collect more. So let's um, set up at this point. Uh, I'll dump off. There we go. A little bit of lag there. So I'll dump this off. Uh, I'll dump off the Fluix block. And I'll grab one of the seeds here and make myself a Fluix seed. All right, big mistake. Let's extract that out with a shift right click because I need to take the Certus Quartz seed and throw that guy in. There we go. And that's going to give us the Fluix seed that we can then build up to 10, 10, 10 and have infinite Fluix for ME expansion. Okay, I moved the MFR auto spawner over to the nether and I filled it with a skeleton net. So we know that anytime a skeleton spawns in the nether, it has a chance to become a wither skeleton. And so with the cleaver, I can just uh, reach to the glass here and kill all these guys and hopefully by the time I kill this it should be the last of the uh, of the will withered skeleton skulls that I need so let's check okay I'm up to six wither skeleton skulls so that's exactly uh, what I'm going to need here to make the wither skeleton seed so uh, four skeleton skulls four temporio plus a skeleton seed. Skeleton seeds are just skeleton skulls, which are pretty easy to make. So I'm going to have to whip up one of those. And then, uh, yeah, and then I should have infinite uh, wither skeletons because wither essence makes wither proof blocks for killing withers. And I can just whip up the wither skeleton skulls on the fly. There we go, and that should be the end of the of the wither seed. So let's throw that in and grab our wand of the forest and living rock and a tap. Bam! Wither skeleton seeds. All right, so 
that's a pretty good uh, development here. So let me uh, place that with the other seeds. And okay, let's see what we're going to do next. Okay, so I ended up making a second ME system to specifically deal with loot bags over by the mob farm. So uh, loot bags are extracted from a whitelist, sent underneath the base over here to this side where they're fed in through um, this autonomous activator which shift right clicks uh, using a sneak and a aim high into the chest. At that point the chest will then absorb uh, whatever the output of the loot bag is back into this mini ME system. So um, basically this is collecting all the junk uh, that would normally be uh, dropped. You can see like 62 division sigils, a uh, whole bunch of uh, ender dust and lilies and so on. So I blew through about, uh, I want to say 500 loot bags. And uh, yep, so nothing in here is particularly um, jumping out at me at this point. 101 engineers blueprints. Oh boy. Um, so. I'm just going to hang on to this stuff for later and figure out if I want to remerge things back into the ME system. So, speaking of which, I did a uh, fair number of upgrades. Um, I've added a lot more seeds to the, uh, to the farm. I've got uh, uh, dye and saltpeter and manulin. I've got uh, started on some of the, the monsters. Um, pigs, sheep I'm able to find in the mining dimension, and uh, just kind of uh, finishing off the last of the seeds, uh, at least creating the seeds. I need to uh, power them up to 10, 10, 10 uh, to finish off the wall. But at this point, I moved the ME system. So I restructured everything, tried to pretty it up. I've automated the formulas for the ME controller, and uh, Yep, and so at that point, I should be able to just keep expanding the ME system, uh, though I don't like having the storage units over here. So I decide I'm going to have a second uh, item wall and basically move all of the mob farm stuff over here so everything is centrally located um, and not scattered all over the base anymore uh, because I think the time for that is past. So... The ME system level under here um, is kind of doing a lot of cleanup in the ME system. So I'm going to redo the inscriber area. Um, I have something making uh, this glacial precipitator. It's making snowballs, which is filling up this chest and exposing that to the ME system through uh, the storage bus. Uh, likewise, I have um, a crafting card here making glass. Uh, so this is one way of keeping things, uh, keeping um, at least a stack of an item in the ME interface. So um, if there's any recipe that needs glass, it'll pull from this first, which will, uh, and then uh, it'll pump itself back up to 64 uh, asynchronously. So uh, that way it doesn't have to wait for glass, um, since glass seems to be one of those things that just takes a while to finish. So. I'm going to move these guys soon, the crystal growth chamber. Um, I don't know if there's a point to it anymore, uh, pure uh, Sirtis Quartz, because uh, everything that had a, um, uh, a growth effect can also be duplicated by uh, Sirtis Quartz Accents. So I, could pre I think I can retire this one now. And if I recall, the one here I don't think is even doing anything. So... This is empty. I think it was originally pumping down to uh, one of the um, uh, mechanism chests. So um, since I was able to clean that up, I ended up making a, um, a uh, quantum ring. So I've made these in, in other games. Uh, basically, you need the, the matter condenser over here, uh, which I hooked up to the cobble uh, area. So basically throw in a 64 uh, storage component, make sure this is switched to uh, singularities, and, and that's going to dump singularities, in this case, through a hopper to the chest, and then I blew up the singularity with the TNT and made myself a quantum gate. So 
Um, that way I could separate these two halves of the machine level um, so that these guys can get their own channels and these guys can get their own channels. And I'll be able to move all the rest of the machines down here. Um, I've got the uh, metallurgic infuser wired up um, here. So items are dumped into the chest where then they're whitelisted and fed uh, to the correct side. Um, since there's a, a special, here, here, let me bring this up. Yeah, since there's an infusion side and an item side. So I also made the uh, immersive engineering presses. So I have a gear press as, as well as a um, uh, plate press. So I don't have to mess around with, uh, with Tinker's Construct anymore. So this is a much faster uh, layout. And so, yeah, so that's kind of where I am at this point. So what I'm going to do is uh, just do a little bit more cleanup, and then I'm going to attack the, uh, the, uh, the wither. All right, now that I have 17,000 wither essence, I should be able to make a wither skeleton skull pretty easily. So let's whip up a couple of these um, just to test with. And so I uh, made a little bit of a... Uh, of a wither proof uh, base over here in the mining dimension. So let's go through uh, that and take a look at this. So pretty standard uh, wither dropper. So what I'm going to do is set up um, a fan system over here. So about, uh, I want to say, eight blocks away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And we'll set these like such. So, there we go. And levers. If I did it right, I should be able to stand over here without getting blown. Okay, so step two is the actual wither itself. So, let's get the soul sand. And place it up in the standard pattern up here. I'll uh, close it in with some witherproof. Uh, oh, right. So the witherproof um, uh, blocks, I'm hoping, is uh, is in effect. So witherproof blocks and glass for magical magical crops. So I'm going to trust that. Whoops. And let's pick up that head. And put down some glass. So, bink, bink, bink. All right. So, one head, one head, and the final head. So this guy's going to power up. Oh, good. Okay, so did not blow up any of the weatherproof blocks. So let's stand. Uh, where did he go? Okay, so he's actually flying up. So. Hmm. Is he trapped in here? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to work on this drop channel here. Uh, yeah, I probably need to make it a little wider. Um, so, let me see if I can figure out how to box him in here. Yeah, he apparently wants to go to the top. So... Actually, this is not a bad trap. Okay, so. Well, that was uh, pretty quick. <laughs> the wither has learned more about you. That I do not understand. But I did get another star. I got uh, yellow heart and a couple more of the uh, unique uh, rewards. 
Still never figured out what the rare shader grab bag is. Maybe I'll finally look that up. But um, so this should pre uh, be pretty easy for me to uh, to get a couple more nether stars. All right, so I got my four nether stars. So let's head over to the altar and throw in all the parts. So um, I'm going to need one wither skeleton seed. I'm going to need the four nether stars. And of course, the four Temperio Essence blocks. All right, so at this point, we just have to wait it out. Um, let's see, do I have enough mana in the pool to do this? Uh, let's throw in Lotus, and that should cover me for the uh, creation of the seed. All right, looks like it just finished it off, so uh, let's head over and uh, add the stone. And bam, one nether star seed. Awesome. All right, so that's a lot of uh, crafting for the day. I'm probably going to do a little bit of organizing, uh, do some cleanup. And uh, with that, I'm calling this an episode. So if you could, please leave a comment or a like. Let me know how I'm doing, and I will see you next time in Project Ozone 2 titan mode. Bye!